We have this amazing challenge on Circle before us. Is it something you can do? You can pause the video for a while. Meanwhile, join me and let me take you through it step by step. It's just so easy. Let's read the question first. We are given this diagram and the question says A, B, C and D. Go to the diagram. A, B, C and D. The question says a point on a circle. You notice that they are points on a circle. And we also told A, B, E, A, B, E. Did you see this line? And D, C, E, D, C, E. These two lines are straight lines. You have already seen it. We also told A, T is a tangent to the circle. Now look at A and T. You see, this line is not just a straight line, but a tangent. And what do we mean by tangent? Tangent simply means when you draw your circle, a straight line that touches this part of the circle is what we call the circumference. Now, when you draw a line, a straight line to touch the circumference at a point without cutting through, we call such a line a tangent. So this line is what we call a tangent and it reminds you of theorem. So take note. So let's continue with the question. So we are told AT is a tangent to the circle. You have seen it. And this is where it makes that tangent. And it's para, we also told DCE, DCE is parallel to AT. This line is parallel to this. Without being told, you see this symbol is a symbol that shows parallel. So whenever you see this symbol in, in geometry, which it shows parallel. And it also reminds you of something. Now, we are also told angle EAT. When you have this, the angle is on the center later. So the angle at A is 47. Let's go to the diagram. EAT. Did you see? So the angle formed at A from what we have is 47. And finally, BAD, the angle formed at A is 56. So go back, BAD, did you see this angle from here, this part of A is 56. Now the question is asking you, find these angles. Is this something you can do? Let's take them one at a time. So let's take this off. From the first one, we want to find angle a, E, D. Now, how do we find this angle? Remember, when you hear A, E, D, it is the angle at E, the center letter. Now, go to the diagram. A, E, D. So, we are looking for this angle at E, this angle. Now, how do you get this angle? Remember what the question has given you. The question told you that these two lines are parallel. And when you hear parallel lines, it reminds you of angles formed on parallel lines. And one of them is, whenever you have this kind of angle on a C shape, where these two lines are parallel, we say that the angle you form at this part is also the same with the one you form at this. We call this kind of C shape angle alternate angle. So this is alternate angle and alternate angles are always equal. So in that case, if here is 30, here will also be 30. Now, if you go to the diagram, can we spot it? Let's go back. You see, we want to find this angle. So to find it, you see that we can get it. Watch, just watch. Remember, these two lines are parallel, just like what we have here. So you can trace it. Does it give us a Z shape? Let's see if it gives a Z shape. Yes, you see, this gives us a Z shape. And because it gives a Z shape, it means that this angle here is the same with the one we have here. So to answer that, we can quickly say that angle AED is equal to 47 degrees. So angle AED is 47 degrees. And what is our reason for taking it as 47? Our reason is alternate angles are equal. So our reason is alternate angles. Now, what do we need to find next? The next to find is angle B, C, D. So we want to get angle B, C, D. Now, how do you get this? Go back again. 
Now, from the diagram we have, remember, BCD means the angle at C. So if you go to the diagram, you see we have B, C, and D. Did you see? You have this, B, C, and D. Did you see the angle? You are looking for this angle at C. Now, how do you get that angle? Looking at this properly, you remember one of these theorems. Whenever you have a circle drawn, and inside the circle, you have a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a four-sided shape, such that the vertices of the quadrilateral, the vertices or the vertices are those points that where you have two lines or more meeting. So you see, this is a vertex of the, of the quadrilateral. This is, these are vertices. So if the four vertices of a quadrilateral are touching the circumference of a circle, a theorem says that the angle you have here, if it's A, the one you have in opposite, if it is B, if you add these two together, it should be equal to 180 degrees. And what is the theorem? The opposite angles of a psychic quadrilateral summed is supplementary. So this is the theorem. So does this help us in this? If you go back to the diagram, you see this is this has formed a quadrilateral. Just watch. Did you see it? It formed a quadrilateral inside here. So if this is true, obeying this theorem, it means that the angle you have here, when you sum it with the one in the opposite, it should be equal to 180 degrees. So for us to find this angle, what do we do? This is going to give us angle BCD, this angle here, plus this angle 56 should be equal to 180 degrees. What is our reason? The opposite angles, let's abbreviate, of a cyclic quadrilateral is supplementary. So let's abbreviate it. So let's work this out to half. We are going to now have from here, we now have to find this is going to give us angle BCD is you subtract 56 from both sides. So we have 180 take away 56. And that gives us angle BCD. If you subtract this, it gives us 124 degrees. So the value of this angle is 124 degrees. Now the last is to find this. To find this, so we're going to have angle ADB. Now what do you do? Go to the diagram. We have ADB. Remember, you are looking for the angle at the center, the center letter. So it means you are looking for this angle at D. Now what do we do to get this? Just remember this quickly. For each time you have a circle drawn and there is a tangent, as you have explained, and this tangent comes in contact with a chord. A chord is a line that does not divide the circle equally, just like this. This is a chord. And when it divides it equally in this manner, we call this a diameter. So this one is a chord. Now, when you have a chord coming in contact with a tangent, we say that the angle this chord and the tangent forms at the point of contact if I should complete this diagram, just watch. This angle it forms there is equal to the angle it forms in the opposite. And that is this. So if this angle is A, this one should be A. And what is the theorem? The alternate segment theorem. Now, will this help us to answer this? If you go back to the diagram, you observe that. Look at this. This is our tangent. Did you see? This is the tangent. And you notice that this tangent, this is a chord also. This is a chord. And you see that this chord and the tangent makes an angle at this. And that angle is 47, just like what you have here. So if here is 47, now can you help us to find this angle? Just trace this 47 in opposite direction. Just take it in opposite direction. You'll find out that it takes you to the angle you are looking for. And if that is true, it means that this angle we are looking for is going to still be 47. So we can now say that angle ADB 
is equal to 47 degrees. And what is our reason? Our reason is the alternate segment theorem. Or you can also call it the tangent and the chord theorem. And I hope you really learned something. Don't forget to tell us how much. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. And I'll also be curious to see your own method. Help us to share this so that algorithms send to more people that need this skill. Thank you. And I'll see you in my next class. Bye.